Sagittarius, welcome, welcome to your reading for April the 4th to April the 10th. Um, in previous readings, I forgot to do any clarifiers, so I'm going to do that with the um, Art Nouveau Tarot deck here. But first of all, we're going to jump straight in with the True Black deck. Um, what I would say is this is general reading. I can't read for every Sagittarian on the planet as much as I'd like to. Um, I have shuffled these. I'm just giving them a little bit of a mix. Let's get right to it and uh, see what the week holds for you. All right, Sagittarius, here we go. The Hierophant, either a teachable moment or doing something for the greater good. Tends to be a more greater good in this deck. Death, ooh, exciting. We'll have to see what that means. Uh, five of Wands, yeah. That's your, uh, sorry, so this is the situation. This is what crosses you. This is your near past. Near future. Oh dear. Is that the Ten of Swords? Yeah. And then subconscious, what's going away from the situation. Four of Cups. Call that the meh card. Can't make a decision. Nothing interests you. The head of the matter. This is what you do know about. What you do understand. Uh, the burden card. The Ten of Wands. We're going to get down to uh, where you find yourself. Nice. Sagittarius, that is nice. And then we move to this. Also good. Yeah, a little victory coming in for you there. Hopes and fears. Knight of Swords, nothing wrong with that. Outcome. Temperance. Okay, that's interesting. And then energy on the bottom is the Queen of Pentacles, which is very simply a safe place as a um, a bird and a snake there normally predators because obviously hawks some snakes and snakes eat birds um, but she provides a safe place for them all so she's she's gentle kind and it, uh, the thing that resonates with me on that one is this safe place so I start off with the hierophant and the interesting thing about him is he's got a beehive on top of his staff and I always quote this one, but Marcus Aurelius was a Roman emperor who said, if it isn't good for the hive, it's not good for the bees. And I really think that holds true. If you're doing something that serves you and not your neighbourhood, then it doesn't it doesn't work, it doesn't last. And the thing that's crossing you is death. Um, death is just about change, it's just about transformation. You know, it's um, it doesn't even, it could mean, it, it does mean the end of something, I suppose, but not necessarily. It could be if, you, if it was a work thing. It could be that you've been promoted. There you go. It's as simple as that. It could be you're in a relationship, and I don't know. Your your partner wants to take up a job and earn lots of money in Saudi Arabia for six months. You know, it's that kind of change. It doesn't mean the end of the relationship. It just means the relationship's going to be significantly different. Could be stronger for it. You'd certainly be better off. You know, so it's that it's that kind of thing. So it's not a worrying card. It is a big old card, though. Um, in the recent past, you've had this battle. Um, I always think of that as Gandalf's staff, or maybe Saruman's, but it doesn't matter. Um, and they're just breaking against you. You know, it's like, well, why are you even trying? It's it's sometimes seen as a um, a card of learning or training or youngsters and conflict, but I, I just kind of see it as whatever you get hit with it just bounces off you it's it's like superman fighting normal soldiers like good luck with the role that's been going out that's your near past anyway uh sagittarius in the near future definitely the end of something which ties in with the death card so something's going to end one thing it does tell us of course and, and this happens a lot in the tarot everything's cyclical and everything changes and you know the sun's going to come up not everything's dead. One bird survives. Maybe that's the one that's supposed to survive. Who knows? Um, so yeah, in the near future is looking. It's not a bleak card. It's 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 a transformative card certainly. And then the root of the matter, what you're not really understanding, is the four of cups, and you're being offered these four of cups, and whatever's inside them just leaves you cold. It's like yeah, can't be can't be bothered. I call it the meh card. You know, it's like yeah, whatever. Nothing interests me. You're not going to sway me with that. And then the head of the matter, what you do understand and do know, is it's the burden card. So you're carrying a burden um, like this 
um, Goliath beetle is, is carrying. Uh, in fact, there's another beetle getting a free ride in, in that burden as well. So if this was work related, it would be maybe a colleague's not doing as much work as you are or leaving you to do the work um, or in a relationship, your partner's not pulling their weight. But what it does tell us is one, this is nearly over. You're almost at your destination. And two, um, the the Goliath beetle can carry a hundred times its own weight, so it's not that much of a burden. So you know, it. I think it's kind of it's a pain in the ass, but it's not the end of a relationship or anything. It's more of a really. It's going to be me all the time. Uh, Ace of Wands, new start, creative, vibrant, something happening. You know, lovely, lovely card to find yourself in. So after all of these endings and burdens it, it it snaps snaps that's better no they're better it snaps and you brand new start looks great and everyone sees that as a victory you know if you look at this the lions eating the hunter which everyone's very happy about they got the banners and flags out going hey well done you um one thing it, it does temper with that though is it's a temporary victory you know don't don't think that you can ride off into the sunset off the back of that. They go, well done. What are you going to do next? And what you're going to do next is hopes and fears. Um, Knight of Swords. You know, he's come in. There's some brambles that have been trying to slow him down. And he's just cut through them. And by cutting through them, it's it's released the sort of um, the harvest. The, the, um, the reward for effort that he's got there. So it's... Um, it's not a quiet card, but it is a positive card. Again, a lot of the sword cards can be quite brash and in your face. Um, and, and sometimes that's done unconsciously. They're not trying to upset anyone. It's just the way sword cards and sword people are. You know, Ta-da, I'm here. I've come to save the day. You know, So good card to get. I'm happy with that. And then the outcome is just finding the balance this week. So whatever the ending is, and this new start comes with the balance. You know, there's a little yin and yang symbol on the top of this, but um, and flowers on one side of the in the background, and swords on the other. It is literally finding the balance through this week to get you where you need to be, uh, which is in a good place. It's a, it's it's some big um, some big endings here and here, and this burden, but it doesn't. It's not a sad reading at all feels quite a happy reading so yeah sagittarius i'm happy with this it's it's looking good let's have a look judgment on top of the hierophant so again you know the, on the day of judgment you will be called to account and if you can go no i lived a long and happy life and i wasn't nasty to anyone they go off you go and if you don't they go back round you go and try again you know like the fool in the you know when he gets to the end with the world back around he goes you know and see if we can do it better this time what's crossing you is the harvest card that's um not about resting on your laurels you know if you're a farmer you go right i'm going to harvest all this have a cup of tea and then i need to start planting for next season so it's a bit like this temporary victory it's like well done you what are you going to do next so move on and then near past uh we've had this haven't we the five of, yeah on top of the five of ones you've got the five of ones so that's what the card looks like in a more traditional deck so it's, it's a card of of conflict or training um but again i see you as being the victor in this one or have been the victor in this one near future okay the wounded warrior so lots of ones in this um so there's the nine of ones. You can see he's, he's bandaged, but he's, he's basically beaten off eight other attackers and he's just ready for the next wave. So uh, we'll be tied anyone who takes you on. Um, nice, powerful card to get there. What's going away is on top of the four of cups, you've got the four of pentacles. And again, you know, this is really weird. He's, he's like really hanging on, in this case, kind of hanging on to your money. But it also shows a lack of creativity which is inherent in the sword cards here this is a bit sort of you know if it was money it's a bit like i'm just going to put it under my mattress and not tell anyone about it i'm not going to spend it either uh, it's like well you just be the richest man in the graveyard then wouldn't you 
or if it's if it's emotional stuff it's kind of holding on to your feelings and not not sharing them with anybody not a good place to be that but that seems to be going away so that's nice uh the head of the matter on top of the beetles we have the lovers um some some attraction again if this is in a relationship it, and given that it's on the burden card i would suggest that if this is um a romantic reading one party thinks the other party is not pulling their weight um what you do about that's entirely up to you i'm, I'm not a relationship counselor at all i would say i'd talk about it if i was you but you know it's it's up to you um but yeah th there's a burden there and there's some lovers which is you know there's clearly an attraction but there is some trial involved so maybe it's that tough conversation about why do you never wash up well why do you never put the toilet seat down and so it goes on on top of the fantastic ace we have it's going to happen fast that's the eight of wands a lot of wands um so yeah, the Eight of Wands is all about movement and uh, communication. So clearly something happening soon there. On top of the Six, which is how other people see this situation. They see it as a victory. Yeah, yeah, I can see that as a victory. This is the, well, you can because even though she's the Queen of Cups, looks like she's holding a trophy. She's also got that kind of slightly smug, oh yeah, I'm the winner. I mean, what this really talks about is her... Um, her ability to tune into, because cups are all about emotions and tuning into conscious and subconscious and that kind of inner voice. So she's able to do that. Um, so that ties in quite nicely with this. I think there's some conversations here. Again, it could be in work. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be a work situation where you feel like you're being put upon all the time. You need to talk to this person. And you've got the ability to do it in a very calm and collected way and see both sides. Um, hopes and fears. Uh, another great card. This is about someone who um, is very comfortable in their own skin, their own ability. They don't. They like the finer things in life. They they're happy in their own skin. They're happy spending time on their own. The the hawk on a hand is about um, focus. So, you know, that, that ability to kind of really hone in on something and focus on the job at hand. She's got six pentacles on one side that she's happy to give away because she's got three on the other. And again, it, it you know, the vines are just going to give her more and more of this money, wealth, understanding, knowledge, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be physical money, although it, 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 in a financial reading, it would do really well for that. <clears throat> it's just talking about, you know, you know, sometimes you, you don't think you've got enough energy to listen to your partner. She has. She's got it in spades. She, she'll give all of her time listening because she knows that she's got more to give here. And she can focus and attend to that. It's a lovely card, this particularly lovely drawing that as well. And then the final outcome on top of this temperance balance. Oh, this has come up. That's the third time it's come up in this position. There's obviously a big collective thing going on. And the bottom of the deck, we've got the page of cups. Um, so he's he's imagining that fish coming out of there. So it's a card of um, uh, emotion and creativity. So that's the underlying thing here. It's, it's good. But this is the only card really that offsets all of these others. And again, I've, I've said it a few times tonight, but... You know, stop looking at the cups that are spilled and look at the two cups that are available. Also, I get the impression the guy's going, if only I could cross that river. It's like, there's a bridge, you can cross the river. If only I could get to my castle, you can. The castle's on the other side of the river. You just cross the bridge. And again, weirdly, those two cups that haven't been spilled yet are on top of his cloak. So the minute he moves, they're going to spill. So I'm not really sure what the... the logic is behind that you'd have to sit down very gently and turn around very slowly to see those two cups but the meaning of the card generally speaking is you know stop looking at what you've lost and look at what you still have yeah um this is a great reading sagittarius it's um yeah powerful strong um i'm trying to think if i was going to pick something out of this 
well, clearly, yeah, you got the ace of wands, so there's a new start there. <clears throat> Balance, burden. Yeah, I mean, there's a burden, there's a conversation, there's, you know, this, this world weary. You know, when you go in, do we have to talk about this again? You know, I'm, yeah, you do. You really do. You have to keep talking about it until it's resolved. And it does get resolved. And it's just about... You know, make sure there's a balance. Yeah, I know what it is. There it is. So you're you're looking to find the balance. That's your job this month, this month, this week, Sagittarius. So you need to find the balance this week, and you need to make sure you don't focus on what's gone and focus on what is. Yeah, just get that clarity. Yeah, it's it's going to be a battle. Yeah, it's going to be a pain in the bum, and it's going to be a burden. But you've got the ability to do it. And then you've got this fantastic new new thing coming in. It could be that you just have that conversation and it just blows the cobwebs away and you end up with, you know, being in a better place because of it. So I think that's what it is. This might actually be the first of the readings that I feel is about a relationship rather than about work or, or, or combination of the two. But yeah, really good reading, really powerful. I will see you in a week for more of the same. Sagittarius, take care of yourselves. See you soon.